do not need this to be adjustable today. I'm trying to flatten the sail as much as possible to depower. As you can see, it's quite windy. Kind of scary. All the boats start on reach. Basically, all the boats are going to get to the first mark at the same time. You're going to see some carnage. Uh, we'll do a uh, committee boat, flag, and a uh, starting pin. Uh, Buoy one, buoy two, buoy three, and buoy four. So, one, two, three, and four. Only Anthony gets a point that high, though. Yeah. The rest of us have to attack up wind. <laughs> so we, you know, sort of take it to extremes because these boats are so fast, you know, so small and so fast that we can race on a really short course. Uh, but it's been kind of a, you know, fringe at the fringes of, you know, not sort of mainstream. Uh, but of course, it's about to become mainstream because the America's Cup has uh, an element very similar to this, you know not starting going upwind where you have to zigzag it back and forth, but all the boats ripping at high speeds in a straight line. I always know when Boris going sailing when I hear him beating his boat with a vice grip. up to weather of the committee boat yeah. trying to bear away and get into deeper water yeah and I saw you front do a couple. coil with clip uh -huh. full cartwheel uh -huh. get the thing back up on the other board full cartwheel uh -huh. a dozen times in a row yeah angry I... depleted crying oh no cry broken <laughs> yelling try not to bear away well, um, you have to get going upwind get foiling and then bear away and that much wind you'll never be able to bear away that's even shallower, you know, you got to commit, like yeah. tons of weather heel and then go. Yeah. 
the, uh, that's the same thing I had when I was racing is like um, Harris, Maddie and I barrel off the start. They both flip over. Now I'm way ahead, then I flip over. Now they're way ahead, then they flip over. I catch up. And so Harris and I pass each other back and forth, but at times they were a leg ahead of me. I'm like, you know what? Keep racing. It's fun. It's, uh, you know, it's always uh, a bit hairbraining. Like, uh, it's fast, you're a little on, on edge, but uh, the feeling of bearing away in one of those puffs, um, it's like you're just hooked up to the back of a F1 car and it's taking you and you can't say no. <laughs> it's fun. There's a little bit of water on the lens, it looks like. Or old stuff, maybe. Come on over, see what you got here. see it, Tony. I heard you got some new moves. Get that. That's some moth yoga. Feel how tight that shit is? Here. Easy. Big breeze yoga practice. So ha having some new people in the fleet, you know, for us is a is a great thing. Um, it's good because when we got more boats to race against, more fun people to race against, because most sailors are generally, you know, good fun. But uh, we also need, you know, the level to come up a lot. And uh, having somebody like Juan, one thing has proved us through through the years is that good sailors always rise to the top. And so um, it's only a matter of time before those guys become kind of contributing members to our fleet. I see one thing. That that we need to change. Um, this needs to go around the back. Is that okay? There's a bunch of line in like in my box or in that bag that's right in front of the box. I want to go in my box, take this line go in my and go in my box to find something that's not as thick but the same length. Uh, I started sailing catamarans when I was younger and then I moved into the uh, laser glass. So uh, both very different from uh, the moth. He's also very modest. He's a two-time Olympian in the laser class. So, <laughs> you know, he's a, he was a perfect fit for me to say, hey, let's blow off classes and go sailing. Let's try that. Let's flip it on. When I started in the laser class, it was uh, a lot tougher than this. Like, sailors are obviously very good, but Nobody's trying to help each other out like here. Oh, nice. Makes it a lot better. <laughs> ah. I am not getting the dead cat that's in the bushes. Uh, that's where another I alligator kill? It's actually yeah. disappeared. Is Johnny going for it? Or yeah, Bear yeah. going for the dead cat? Just dead it's cat over right here, now. Bear. Um, so this thing, I just picked this up on the edge of this marsh. This thing will float kind of on the surface or just below the surface, and you can't really see it. And if you hit this thing with your foils, you just you stop immediately. So it's like a car accident. So uh, this picture here, I think, is a pretty vivid illustration of uh, what happens when a moth meets a plastic bag at speed. This was uh, a U.S. sailor who was sailing in Biscayne Bay down in Miami pushing it really hard downwind and uh, wrapped a plastic bag around his rudder and in the ensuing cartwheel managed to slash the back of his leg on his uh, trailing edge of his hydrofoils and as you can see in the picture it cut through the skin, through the muscle, um, all the way down to the bone. Uh, actually at this regatta we're announcing a new partnership with 11th Hour Racing. Um, 11th Hour Racing is a nonprofit environmental group based in Newport, Rhode Island, and they've signed on to be the sponsor of the class. These guys exemplify our mission. Um, they use reusable water bottles. Their shipping containers are very small. Uh, they're doing beach cleanups at every regatta, and they are working to always be better and improve their impact. When we sail in other classes, we want to try and take those same steps there. and. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a new relationship and a lot of it's going to be about brainstorming and coming up with new approaches to solve these problems. Um, but we're, we're excited to kick it off and uh, to see kind of what the, the creative minds in the class come up with. So we'll definitely be uh, announcing a lot more in the, in the coming days. But for now, we're, uh, we're really excited about the partnership with 11th Hour. Um, this is the brief, super brief uh, skippers meeting for the fleet racing. Uh, the current thought now is to um, go out there, try and get as many fleet races in as possible. Um, it seems like it's actually come up a little bit since you guys have come in. And the point that it starts to get marginal and racing uh, quality of racing is degrading, uh, we might move to 
finish up the slalom as it's easier to uh, do slalom races and marginal foiling than it is uh, fleet races. Um, at the point that then it gets even worse than that, um, we'll come in. be tied for first going into the last race we're going to double check that in a minute and uh great conditions for this and may the best man win okay sounds like we're gonna go into sequence here Good start, but he fell down with the yeah. lack of wind. Soon does it again. Just barely. Just barely. Both of you guys might have been tied going into that one. I think we were. Yeah. That means it's a good battle. You came back absolutely. today. Yeah. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, another weekend of racing in the bag. I wish it was always that easy. <laughs> Got my feet put to the fire a little bit today, though. That's for damn sure. But it was a little cranky on starboard tack, but um, luckily uh, that last race kind of sorted out a little bit. But uh, before, I just kind of got a little unlucky there at that last start. And what was hoping to be a good, little bit of a last race, um, Mono Mono uh, Showdown Brawl kind of didn't happen really, unfortunately. But yeah, super happy. Very happy.
Whew. Good times. How was that weekend? That was a great weekend. A little out of breath, but we had good sailing, good practicing. Some of these guys are the top in the world and previous world champions, so all in all, I think it was a great week. Charleston produced. We're getting a little nervous, but the gnats, we can deal with it as long as there's wind. <laughs> Oh, I think it was mainly because of my sponsor, New England Ropes. Without a main sheet, I wouldn't be able to hold on to anything or make it downwind. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the sails. Oh, North sails are also in there. They're keeping me in the game, you know. It really did a nice extension there. Yeah, that was that was good. I think the two were working together, and we just kind of went forward through the race course. It has everything to do with the fact that I was just sailing like <laughs> and never in any and <laughs> and never got anywhere close to the starting line at the correct time. Would you like to say something about your sponsor? Not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Thank you, Canon. Line honors. Haven't gotten shit as far as actual line honors go. <laughs>